Hello, Internet people, and welcome back to Watch This Productions. I know it's been some time since I've made a video, and I'm going to not really get into all that right now, but what I want to do is I want to make a topic about something that I've recently been looking into and that's interested me, and it's whether or not people should actually buy Dead Analysis Masterclass. Um, I've come into possession of this. I was bored and was like, hey, I'm going to look into this and see, you know, what is what is what are Joel's production tips? What How good is he at what he does, and what can he impart on someone like me who's been messing around with stuff for a long time and what I've come to determine about this entire ordeal uh, I will get into a much lengthier discussion about at some time however this video is, is to kind of put people on a warning track of whether or not they should actually pursue purchasing this product for them or not and to do the first thing I think that you really need to address is as a as a producer or beat maker or anything like that is how long have you been in the game and what is it that you really plan to want to do is stage production really going to be your thing do you actually just want to work behind the scenes and do you know audio production what what is it that you actually want to do so you need to ask yourself what level of a producer are you and do you think that this is actually going to help you I will tell you right now <coughs> that a a beginning producer um, should not look into this product at all. Um, I sat through, there are about 27 modules, I believe, there are with his master class, and I have sat through the first several hours, uh, basically listening to him do the same thing that people like, even like me do here on YouTube, which is basically ramble in front of a piece of music software, uh, trying to get people to understand the way that they process or they, they how they how they do a certain thing, how they come up with their beat production, how they come up with their melodies, how they do something. Um, while that's all in good, there are no there are no real secrets being divulged here. Like some people think that music creation ends up being like like there's an aha moment where it's like if you just understood that one thing you would you would the the light switch would click and then you would go aha ha, i have determined the secret to producing better and great music and honestly that's not true at all um everybody has their own sound even dead mouth even gets into the fact that like what his quote unquote sound is that he feels like is you know his thing that you know that separates him out from the rest of the crowd everybody has one uh and he even goes in and so far as to pretty much insult the entirety of the way that people like us on the YouTube market and in, in the digital formats uh, approach tutorials and stuff like that, uh, which is kind of kind of horseshit in my in my in my own opinion because it's it's not really fair for someone who basically whenever like, when watching these videos you can go and if you're if you're a moderately decent or experienced producer you'll sit there and say hey this guy doesn't know hardly any more about the shit than I do. And really, that's pretty much the truth. Um, the, the difference is the access. Um, you know, someone with this level of exposure or this level of money has access to equipment and other sound engineers, producers, and all sorts of things that we, uh, you know, in the in the amateurs or hobbyist market, don't have access to to produce, you know, amazing stuff. Now, do amazing things come out of bedroom producers? Yes. Um, primary example is Madon. Madon's amazing. Uh, I like Madon a lot, and the kids, you know, started in his bedroom just like anybody else did, um, doing this kind of work. So, that, you know, like, again, cl closing final point there, you know, look at the level of producer you are. Do you think that this is really going to help you? The average person, it's not going to. Um, a lot of it, a lot of the entirety of the first half of his stuff, which is the stuff that I've really gone through in-depth, watched and rewatched and, and looked for you know, breakaway hints and clues to give people is no different than anything you can find on YouTube looking through tutorials. Honestly, there are better key structure, melodies, chord progressions, baseline synth, like tutorials, like everything so far that's come through this master class, you can do better research on YouTube, whether it's through me or like channels like Busy Words Beats or any other number of channels that are on YouTube can provide you with better, more in-depth explanations and video. The problem is most people don't really talk. I understand that. 
Um, he kind of talks it out while he's making, like, while these videos are recorded. Like, he says, you know, kind of why he's doing something versus most people on YouTube who are doing stuff are just clicking buttons and you're just watching them, you know, play around Fruity Loops or Ableton or whatever he's using. And not to mention the fact that I'll, I'll show this right here. It's like, during the entirety of the Masterclass, he's using Ableton Live 9 and the beta at that. And there are some different points in the show like during the video where it's like you like he'll open like his files folders where you'll see like his project files that have been created through Ableton and there are a shitload of them um I mean so you know the, that that becomes like the next big point is it's like you know you don't have to have shitloads of gear you don't have to have a ton of money and, and hardware and and you know paid for vsts i mean everything everything you can do with one set of software generally can be replicated and done with another set of software if you're willing to take the time and actually just learn what you have um for a lot of us you know maybe it's fruity loops maybe it's acid maybe it's reaper maybe it's ableton you know it, it all depends on what you wanted to use um you know i think it, i think it kind of speaks volumes for someone who's this big in the game using something like Ableton, the sheer fact that it's its versatility and and power is derived basically by the person and the user using it. You can, you know, when life gives you lemons, it's that whole, that whole scenario there. Just don't come into this scenario or this a product thinking, I mean, I'm going to spend $100 and learn everything that that he has to teach about the music industry and the music business because that's not going to happen. You're going to be woefully disappointed if that's what you believe. I came into the masterclass thing thinking, man, you know, they're going to have these guys that are going to have a ton of, a ton of awesome, you know, insight to give us and such like that. But really, it's not. It's more or less what it seems so far is it's it's good marketing. Like their demo videos. Like, and if you're like me and and you look at videos and you look at chord progression videos and stuff through YouTube and all kinds of stuff like that, you're getting you're getting master classes ads probably. And if you're not, then good for you, because some of them run like five minutes long and they some of them you can't skip unless you just reload the browser to skip past the ad. You know, but you know, really you really need to think about it before you spend the money on it. I know a hundred bucks for some of us, not a lot of money, even if you want to take the plunge and just look at it. But what I'm more concerned is, is people just throwing money at this and them thinking it's a good idea and a good business model because it is not. Um, that's what bothers me more than anything else. So I would say for now, until I've gone through the rest of the stuff, when it comes to beat producers and beat makers, and people looking to do chord progressions, melody synths, uh, using, you know, effects, anything like that. If you're looking to this program, do not buy it. Do not get it. Do not support it. And, and I'm not just saying that because I kind of already don't like Dead Mouse pers Like, I don't like the music he makes a, a lot. Some of it's good. Some of it's not. And all, all of us have our hits and misses. But, I mean, I'm just saying from a, from a sheer production value and, and use of your dollars as a producer... Or, or someone learning to do this, do not spend your time, resources, and energy investing in this, thinking it's going to make you a better producer, because it won't. All right, guys, well, that's, us. that's me, and I'm done with this for now. Uh, stay tuned, and I'm probably going to reach through the rest of his material. There's stuff on, you know, the business end of the deal. See if that maybe has some more information that I think is worthwhile, but I'm going to tell you, like I said, just avoid it for now, and we'll be back later to talk more. Alright guys, well this is Darth, I'm out. See you later.